I'm Joe with that hashtag newsfeed this week. I am joined again with Kelly. Second week. Second week in a row. Jessica isn't here. She's not. She's in New Mexico. But uh, hey, Jessica, good luck becoming the new Heisenberg. I just saw her uh, eating alien beef jerky I from I saw Area that 51. Too. That's really random. I don't know what it tastes like. To the news stories we go. So the series started off as an April Fool's joke, but now we're learning that. Cloak and Dagger is actually going to be a real thing. It what is. What can you tell me about it? So Cloak and Dagger is going to be on ABC's Freeform Network, which used to be ABC Family. Not anymore. Not anymore. And I think that this is going to be, it's crazy because it's like the Marvel TV universe trying to have their own Netflix series. Okay. In a way. Um, but I'm curious to see if it ties into the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm not sure if it is. Do you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? No. No. Well, that doesn't really tie into anything, <laughs> so it really doesn't matter. But I'm hoping that this makes it more of a cohesive universe. We'll see. I can dig it. All right. So Netflix is going up by $2 a month if you have been grandfathered in, so your $7.99 price point is going to go up to $9.99. Kelly, what plan are you on? I have the everyone uses it plan. I do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I don't think it's that big of a deal personally. No. Um, not $3 worried. isn't that, I mean, it is a little bit, but it's not that much more. You're getting really cool shows like Jessica Jones, Daredevil, uh, Luke Cage will be coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Defenders. The Defenders. Iron Fist, yeah. Iron Fist. You get all the Marvel shows. And you're also getting some, some DC shows like The Flash. Yes, right. And Walking Dead. If you're a geek, you know, stick with the $2. It's not that big it's of a deal. Not, yeah. Ah, I, I prefer it over cable sometimes. So do I. I'm 100% honest. All right, this is for all of you out there that have been living under a rock. The Rogue One trailer was just released this past week. Joe, what did you think about it? I thought it was amazing. Uh, number one, there's no Jedi, but I like the Jedi, but we've had six movies of them. Number two, it seems like a war epic, which, yeah. which is really cool, and espionage. All and the, the normal Marvel. people in the Star Wars universe. And Mon Mothma. Yeah. She, she's uh, reprising her role from episode three. It seems really cool. I'm really liking what they're doing right now. I'm very intrigued. Yeah, it seems really cool. So check out. And by the way, we're also going to have Star Wars Rogue One spoilers. Not now. Not with me. Not with you, but very soon. So we got our winner from Club Cosplay, April 29th. Who is it? Desi on Tamaris. You win. What up? And that's not it. We're not going to just give away those pair of tickets. We're going to give away two more now. Even more for you guys. Comment below and tell us your favorite Star Wars character. Star Wars character. Kelly won't pick next week. She won't be here, but Jessica will pick next week. Yeah. Good luck, Jessica. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the news feed this week. I'm Kelly. I'm Joe, but Kelly, when's your next drunk stream? I threw you off in your game, but when is it? Uh, I think we're doing one at the end of this month. You know what game? I have no idea. Okay. I'm excited. Give me some suggestions, everybody out there. But also hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things trending and geek pop culture.